Hey again, my friends. This is just a little bit more redneck rant about stuff. No scripture, no Bible readings or nothing. Just from my heart to yours. I got people, a lot of people, asking me to pray for their children or other relatives or friends that they know that are lost. And I alluded to this briefly in my previous video. Friends, I do pray. Anytime somebody asks me to pray for someone, I do pray for them. And that person gets put on my prayer list and they get prayed for every day. But friends, as a Christian, it is our job to witness to people, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them, to share scripture with them on how to be saved. So praying and having others pray for them is good. You should do that. We all should do that. But there's a whole lot more we should do also. When you get to heaven and you don't see that person there, what are you going to think? Then bet you will be thinking, I wish I had told them how to be saved. But then, my friend, it's going to be too late. Now is the time to be telling them how to be saved. Today is the day of salvation. None of us is guaranteed another breath. Whoever it is on your heart and in your mind that you're concerned about, go talk to them. I think I told you in, a, in the last video, I had a friend in Galveston, which was a town very close to where I used to live in Texas, down there on the Gulf Coast. This friend lived in Galveston. And her son was lost. He was into all kind of illegal drugs. He was in and out of jail often. And she was very concerned for his soul and wanted me to pray for him. And I said, yeah, I'll pray for him. And he, he lived in Tennessee. Tennessee is three states away from Texas. I said, yes, I will pray for him. I will pray for him every day. I said, but somebody needs to go talk to him face to face about Jesus. Because us praying for him is good. And we do need to do that. But we need to do a lot more than that. I told her, I said, hook me up with your son. I said, I will drive all the way from Texas to Tennessee to talk to him face to face. She wouldn't do that. She wouldn't tell me how to get in touch with him, how to go there and talk to him. So I don't know whatever happened to him. But friends, what we need to do, what she needed to do, was go talk to her son about Jesus. Tell him how to be saved. The Holy Spirit is going to do all the work, but it has to be our mouth that puts the word that the Holy Spirit gives us in that person's mind and heart. We cannot save a soul, period. But we can be vessels that the Holy Spirit uses 
to get the message to them, then the Holy Spirit will do the work. So if you've got a friend or a relative that is not saved, it is your job, my dear friend, to do more than just pray for them, to do more than ask for prayer for that person. Let the Holy Spirit use you to touch that person's soul. I do not want anybody going to hell, not anybody I know, not a friend or relative of anybody I know. And I can't travel very far like I used to, but I guarantee you, my friend, if I know of somebody that needs to hear the message of salvation, the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I will do everything within my power to get up off my butt and go there and share it with them. Because if nobody does that, that person is going to spend eternity in hell. I don't want any of my friends, relatives, or friends going to hell. Hell is for all eternity, just like heaven is. And hell is torture that our minds cannot conceive. We should care enough, even if it's somebody we don't love, even if it's somebody that we're just associated with one way or another, we should care enough to share Jesus and the plan of salvation with them. And it is simple. And the Holy Spirit will speak through you, but you have to allow yourself to be that vessel for the Holy Spirit. So please join me in doing that. Time is running out. The end times are here. The rapture could literally happen at any moment. People are playing Russian roulette with their souls and with the souls of their loved ones. We need to stop doing that, friends. We need to stop doing that. I have talked to people, to murderers in prison. I talked to them face to face. I've talked to people, meth heads, crack heads, pot heads, alcoholics out on the street hear that their mind was so messed up, I don't think they even knew what state they were in. And the Holy Spirit speaks through me. I don't know what to tell those people. I don't have a script that I go by. I know the scriptures. I can quote the scriptures. But I can't make their heart or their mind or their soul change. I can't even make them listen to me. But the Holy Spirit can. You've got to have faith and you've got to have a little bit of boldness. Once you do it a time or two, it becomes nothing because you will feel the Holy Spirit's power working through you. You might not even know the words that comes out of your mouth because the Holy Spirit will take over your body and use you as the vessel between God and that person. And if you don't go there and do it, who's gonna? Probably nobody. So think about that, y'all. Don't 
be afraid to talk to anybody about Jesus because God and the Holy Spirit will be on your side. Jesus did die for that person. There's nothing to be afraid of. God is going to protect you. The Holy Spirit is going to put words in your mouth. You've got the love in your heart for that person. Show that love by sharing Jesus with them. Okay, that's that for that message. I discovered a little while ago I have a major, I'm talking a major plumbing problem here. I got my knee-high mud boots on but I can't do that job. So I gotta find somebody to do it and I gotta get it done fast because it's, I think it's five degrees here and I gotta get it done fast because it's getting colder. And I'm tired, I am wore out, I wanna go back to bed. <laughs> if, I, if I went back to bed, I'd probably sleep all day but I can't do that. I love y'all friends. Trust the Holy Spirit. Trust God. Get out and share Jesus with your friends and relatives. Talk to y'all later.